Hey, it's Blake's Nature Love. We're over here at my family's home. Wanted to show you a few plants that are pushing out. In front of me, we have a Bragdon avocado that I grafted last year. As you can see, it's pushing off new leaves. In front of it is a, a cutting from a lemongrass I did last year. Even one of the sugar apples survived without even being protected. Let's take a closer look. My mom really liked the fruit of it. This is cassava. It actually survived through the winter. It just came back up from the ground. That's where you get yucca root from. Here's my papayas. These are ones that were under this Italian cypress and we just cut it back and now it's getting more sun. I even grafted my tasty papaya to this other one because I just dug up my gigantic papaya. I cut it in half and I wanted to remove it. I wanted to take it to my other greenhouse and I have some plans for it. There'll be a video coming out for it. And then beside it is gumbo limbo tree. It actually made it through the winter. We have catley guava. Looks like fruits could be taking. And we have key lime. The famous from Key West. Got this from a friend. Let's look at the fantastic avocado and I'll show you the other papayas. I grafted a bacon avocado on, onto it. And it's starting to push out right here. It's starting to swell. So, remember the big tasty papaya? Well, I removed it. I feel like it'd be best to be put it, put it inside my other greenhouse. I'm going to lay it down and I'll show you a video about it. But I just recently dug it up. My family's going to put a flower bed up in there. So I grafted some of the scion pieces of it to this one. I didn't really like the, the fruit flavor of this papaya. And this one got really beat up from not covering it that one night. That was in the upper 20s. So I decided, oh, you know what, let me try it out. So I grafted here and here and even here. See what happens. I'll show you in the greenhouse. And I have to go plant that papaya at my property. Everything's pushing out. Yellow coconuts pushing out. Why well, sapote is doing better. He early got beat up. I'm gonna head in the ground outside. I'm gonna have to cut some of this back. See the cold damage. I grafted a mango. That's that one called we call it Anna. Here we have Catalina. Avocado. I need to take it out of the greenhouse. I just had it in here because it was trying to keep these more tropical avocados safe. Here we have a Bragdon that I grafted, side wedge. And as you can see, everything's starting to wake up. The Locucci plant is just outgrowing the greenhouse, so it's starting to bend over. Uh, the Aquatica money tree plant is doing amazing. I keep taking cuttings from it. I'll have to start selling some of them. This right here is actually a, a uh, old Florida cotton that was native to down South Florida. And they tried to eradicate it for other purposes and you know why. I'm all about trying to have every species of plant learn about them. This is a jackfruit. This one I got from the Fruit and Spice Park. And it's been doing really well here. These are really cool. Rose cactus. It's like a cactus plant. There's another coconut. There's a lot of black sapote seeds I got from David from uh, that lives down in South Florida. This is my tamarind. It's doing really good in here. I have one outside that actually survived through the winter. 
I should have showed you. Here's my mahogany. It's pushing out from Nicaragua. So I can't see. Maybe damage this plant by accident. That was the gek. Because I moved stuff around. And I'm telling what I did. Look how big this mame is getting. It's grafted. I don't remember the name at the moment. Pigeon pea is doing good. I need to plant it out. Also another one from... I think this one actually came from John when he first gave it to me. I just recently got some more seeds from David that lives down south. Awesome dude. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. I did a lot of grafts on Atamoya onto Cherimoya rootstock and I had had one make it. Here's my other jackfruit scrolling in the ground. I actually broke the trunk when I was bending it over again. It's doing good in here. Chili Congo. Chili Congo doing well. Here's a carry star fruit that I grafted. I grafted it really high. But it's doing really good as you can see. My Relenia survived. It's pushing back out from the bottom. I'll decide which limbs I want to keep, which trunk. Here's my Miami soursop. Look how quick it's growing. And there's my big soursop that's been pulled over. And here's one from Nicaragua that's been growing. I do like the leaves. I love teeing them. Here's my noni. It's putting off new growth. If I can walk back here, and then we'll, we'll have to get going. I gotta move some plants out of here. In the back is uh, Belimbi. You can see the sour sot, the big one. I'm trying to stretch it out, keep it low from the fan. I don't want any leaves getting hit up in there. The guy I was telling you about, Lucas Gardens, he's a cool dude. I bought some plants from him down south. Here's one of the coconut palms from a tasty variety he liked. I gotta repot that one. And that's where these came from too, from him. I split them up. They were in different pots. I'm about to repot them. Might even put one in the ground. I was thinking about it. They're slightly sensitive to the frost, so I have to really decide. These are a really unique type. They have a orange flower. They came somewhere amazing. We'll go into more detail when I try to get these bigger, see what I want to do with them. And uh, I also got the egg fruit, a big egg fruit from him. It's doing a lot better. I'll do an update on it. This is what I got to do to get my little little taste of the tropics because uh, I live too far from the many hours away. But it's possible to just grow them in your greenhouse. And some of the plants I've been surprised they actually do pretty good if you find a, a right, the right microclimate. Like I'll show you the how these moringas made it. Got a Another mango, Vince Valencia, Pride, yeah. There's another one. Gotta spray it with some copper. There you go. Can you hardly see it? But this is the, starting to do better. I'm gonna repot it. This came from Lucas Garden. Should buy from him. So I'm gonna repot it, put some well-drained soil get it to try to fruit probably do some approach grafts on it got really cold this year but on the super cold nights i brought it in the greenhouse and it's starting to push out new growth so 
So there you go. This is my K-Pop. I like this one. It's got really thick spikes on them. I love it. Here's my Jabotacaba. Got some John. Been growing it out. Can't wait for it to make some fruit. This is a cold hardy one. I can't think of the name of it. I better get going. Catch you later. These uh these chili congos are starting to put off some flowers. I gotta cut it back. This is a big cake pock. This one only has a few thorns on it. I really like them. They fairly do well from cuttings too. Impressive. Alright. Let me get going. Before I go, I wanted to show you this navel plum. Can't wait for it to make some fruit. It's been the last year it's been making flowers. That's about it. It has a nice pleasant smell to it. Here's a bear fruit flower. I cut the top off to keep it smaller. I look forward for some flowers. Alrighty, catch you later.